Hey, hello there, welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking about another leak. Yeah, these leaks are coming in thick and fast. MMO Champion is popping off right now uh, with these 10.0 leaks. And this one actually seems pretty good. So yeah, we're gonna take a look. Last week, we looked at the Dragon Isles one. This week, we're gonna look at one called Rise of the Aspects. Uh, but this video is actually a collaboration. Today, we're collaborating with The Sun. Yes, The Sun has come out uh, today, and it's gonna make an appearance throughout the video, so apologies for that. Uh, also, check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash MrGM, where everyone Twitch, streaming World of Warcraft, patch 9.2, uh, any other MMO content, guys, I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM, every single day. Right, let's get into the leak. Oh boy, I love these leaks so much, they're so fun, all the time, it's just the best thing, these are my favorite videos to make, because, you know, when they eventually announce it, we could be like, ha! Huh, Someone lied, and obviously someone's already lied because there's two. In fact, there's three. In fact, there might even be four. Who knows? So this one, as I said, is called Rise of the Aspects. Rise of the Aspects, or Rota. Doesn't really roll off the tongue, but yeah. Let's take a look. Uh, this is uh, by a user called Rise of the Aspects, who was banned. That's really good. Joined in January 2022. So, it says, a disgruntled senior level designer at Blizzard who recently resigned. Now, here's the thing. Why do these Blizzard employees get annoyed and then post on MMO Champion? Why is it always MMO Champion? Why not post somewhere else? It's always MMO Champion. It's always very weird. Those Blizzard employees, they spend a lot of time here. Uh, so it says, uh, and is in my guild. Oh, okay, so the guy is actually in his guild. Mentioned this during one of our raid nights last week to myself and two other officers. It's a three-man raid. That must have been uh, quiet. Their identity is known to us, so we know from their LinkedIn that they, until recently, worked on World of Warcraft. The expansion will be unveiled in the first half of March on a YouTube live stream. Patch 9.2 is set to release at the end of February. 9.2 has multiple cinematics. The final one will be available in week two with the Jailer. The expansion is revealed two days later, the following Thursday. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, that seems realistic, right? That's like a... That's like a pretty good guess. We already know there's multiple cinematics in 9.2, obviously. But yeah, the expansion will be revealed two days later. Actually seems likely. This is something I speculated on as well on stream. Yeah, I feel like they're kind of like, they have it ready. They have it ready to go. But obviously, story-wise, they can't really just be like, this is what happens next. Because it gives away what happens at the end, right? So yeah, it's a good guess. It's a good guess. Uh, so expansion name, Rise of the Aspects. It's not a bad name. It's not a bad name. Uh, new continent, the Dragon Isles. Wow, I heard that one before. Five zones thematic to different aspects. Main story in each zone are their return to power. Okay, seems reasonable. One zone is fully dedicated to endgame content, a la Suramar. This is the zone thematic to the Black Dragonflight. Rathian is the central character here. This is also the location of Deathwing's Corruption, which is a story we dive into. The first raid is located in this zone, a massive old god temple like Stormsong Valley, but larger. Nazoth did not die and is in the background. Okay. Okay. So, I remember, do you remember that cinematic? The one that was kind of like, um, was it Lord of the Rings? Is that what they took the inspiration from? Kind of looked like that. Yeah. Nah. Did not die? Hmm. Maybe, right? Uh, uh. I don't know. I don't know. I'll be honest though, this one actually seems more likely than the previous one. I'll, I'll be honest. Alright. <clears throat> New PvE system. Lairs. Procedurally generating cavern lairs that will feature a variety of different boss fights. There are powers similar to Torghast. It was explained as a boss rush mode. There are very few packs of normal mobs. The core gameplay is heavily focused on boss fights. The system has a challenge mode style for cosmetic rewards. Think Mage Tower, but several bosses with unique powers. Now, I'm sorry, Rise of the Aspects. Um, they actually released the Jailer's Gauntlet in Patch 9.2, which is a boss rush mode in Torghast, which literally is what you just explained. Uh, very little adds, in fact, almost none. Just bosses, uh, unique powers. I mean... Maybe, right? Maybe they put the Drailer's Gauntlet in as like a little test for lairs or whatever this is called. It sounds alright, you know, like lots of different like kind of like mage tower fights. I'll tell you what though, in 9.2, Drailer's Gauntlet is actually, quote me on this, kind of fun. Yeah, Torghast, kind of fun. 
the Jailer's Gone, just the boss rush mode, not the other stuff. The other stuff is whatever. But yeah, go try it out in 9.2. It's actually fun. Ooh, new class, Tinker. Male class, two specs, range DPS with turrets and other gimmicks, and a mecha suit for tanking. Range DPS with turrets and other gimmicks. Okay, that sounds cool. Mecha suit for tanking, that was kind of cool. Like kind of druid forms, maybe? Potentially. This is the first leak we've had with a new class, though. Tinkerer, I mean, that's been not a rumor per se, more of like a something that people wanted for a long time. I would imagine three specs, though, surely, with a healing spec potentially as well. Be kind of fun. Um, yeah. Key points, level cap, increase to 70. All time walking zones become 1 to 60. Shadowlands is added to Chromie. Yeah, I mean, that seems likely. That seems pretty likely. Uh, partial old world revamp. Notable zones that are overhauled include Tanaris and Twilight Highlands. Twilight Highlands, wow, cataclysm zone. These will have content related to max level and players will visit them briefly during questing. The infinite dragonflight has a major presence in Tanaris. Yeah, I guess with, with the cameras of time. Gadgetan is updated. It's a larger quest hub, but not as portrayed in Hearthstone. The cultists are once again a major player in the Twilight Highlands. I guess that uh, it makes a little bit of sense, right? So you've got Caverns of Time with the Infinite Dragonflight, and Twilight Highlands, obviously very dragon influenced, uh, if you've ever done the story there, or wherever you've even been there, very dragon influenced. Is it the Red Dragonflight that's over there? Yeah, I mean, what? Like, that's actually kind of what? Oh, yeah. Not bad. I mean, if this is fake, it's very. They've done a very good job of. Um, putting pieces together. I mean, it's fake. <laughs> Obviously. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other zones such as Elwyn Forest, Duratar, Westfall, Duskwood remain the same, but with improved graphics. Many of the old buildings have been updated with modern graphics. This includes Stormont and Orgrimmar. I love this. Many of the old buildings have been upgraded with modern graphics. There was a, a model added to the game uh, like a couple months ago, uh, like an updated graphics version of Gold Cheer Inn. <laughs> So obviously they've seen that and they're like, I'll put it in there. I'll put it right in. No mention of uh, Emerald Drake though, I mean, as a collector's edition thing. That would be the kind of the icing on the cake. But I think this was written before that um, came out. Although Keyboard Turner found it in November. So, yeah. Anywho, cross-faction endgame gameplay. Yeah, now we're talking. Dungeons... Raiding, PvP, and other endgame content can now be done in groups of both factions. Cannot be cross-faction grouped in war mode. Uh, opposing faction cities are still hostile. I like that, yeah. I mean, that's kind of what we, like, that's what we want. Like, that's kind of what we want. Like, obviously, you don't want, like, an orc running around Stormwind. That sounds weird. But, yeah, I mean, that seems realistic at this point. For, you know, uh, grouped content being cross-faction. Obviously, PvP, kind of cross-faction at the moment, but you can't group with it, obviously. But, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I mean, that's that would be nice. Major profession overhaul. Large focus with multiple new developers recruited specifically for this. Profession overhaul. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, a lot of MMOs have much better crafting professions and things. You look at, like, New World, for example. Very good crafting. Other games, other MMOs have really, like, fun crafting things. I think the ability to be able to craft with multiple um, multiple professions seems like something that should be in the game. Or at least three or four. Having two is such a... Like, an old-school kind of way of thinking, in my opinion. Uh, right, so this is Conclusion of Shadowlands 9.2.5 and Pre-Patch. All right, let's see what they have to say. Using the Forge of the First Ones, the Jailer successfully drains Azeroth, severely injuring the planet. The wounds... <laughs> Where have I heard that before? <laughs> ...that were sealed have re-emerged and Azeroth is on the brink of dying again. After Zoval the Jailer has been defeated, the First Ones appear in the cinematic, resetting Zoval to his original deactivated form. He is not dead, and he will return in the future. So, the first ones, dude, every time, I don't know if it's just because I'm such a Marvel fan, every time I think of the first ones, I think of, like, the Celestials in, in the Eternals. There's a lot of parallels with the Eternals and the Shadowlands story, it's actually kind of interesting, the more you think about it, the more it is very similar, how all of, like, the, you know, like, the, the Rune Carver and stuff like that were kind of created synthetically in this forge, and then there's these higher power that you never really see as the first ones. So, yeah, it's kind of... Kind of interesting. So, I would be cool to see the first ones though. I have no idea. Like, no one knows what they look like. So, hopefully they look cool if that is the case. If it is. There will be an epilogue in the form of 9.2.5. Featuring a short quest line centered around Tarande forgiving Sylvanas. And Sylvanas looking for Nathanos. Oh dear. 
Uh, the patch will also include minor quality of life additions and time walking for BFA dungeons, including Mythic Plus. Huh? <laughs> Bit early, mate. Just a tad. And the Battle for Zara Law raid. Yeah, even earlier. <laughs> yeah, you don't get a time walking with a raid straight away. What about the Legion raid? What about that one? Where's our Legion time walking raid? Yeah, that seems... Okay, I've kind of lost it now. Now I'm just sad. Now I'm just sad. I mean, it's possible, but now I'm just sad that's... That is fake. Anduin is saved, but will not be himself. As the heroes of Azeroth return, the Stormwind nobles are skeptical of their king. Instead, giving their loyalty to Turalyon, Anduin would feel defeated and depressed about everything he did during his domination and will not fight it. Gen Greymane and Matthias Shaw is acting on Anduin's behalf to restore him to the throne. Tensions in the Alliance are growing. Okay, that seems reasonable likely. The Scarlet Crusade is... <laughs> what? The Scarlet Crusade is significantly growing in power in the background. Tralian pays a big part in this. What? I mean, yeah, cool. I love the Scarlet Crusade. Dude, I'm such a Scarlet Crusade mark, you know? But yeah, that's random. Tralian and the Scarlet Crusade, is there some sort of history there or anything? Can someone, some lore buffs tell me? That seems weird. Interesting, but yeah, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, this is all I managed to get notes for. Everything was happening so quickly and we were not warned that they were going to spill the beans. Believe it if you will, and the reveal is just two months away. I mean, it seems more likely than the Dragon Isles one that we had last week. I'll be honest, and I'm a little bit less skeptical about it, but there is a few bits that are a bit like, uh The BFA Dungeon Mythic Plus with Desire Law Raid seems a bit weird, in all honesty. Sylvanas being forgiven by Tyrande, I mean, at this point... <laughs> Probably. Uh, Sylvanas looking for Nathanos also, I guess, maybe, but I'm pretty sure he's he's brown bread, right? He's, he's done for. The boss rush mode also has me pretty skeptical because obviously there's that, as I said, the Jailer's Gauntlet mode, uh, which is coming in 9.2, which is essentially just Torghast boss rush, which is exactly what they just described there, which would be weird for them to have like basically the same feature again. Maybe a bit more fleshed out potentially, but... Like it says, like, you get powers. Like, where do you get powers from? Do you get infused by the dragon flights or something? I don't know. But as I said, I mean, they said it happened so quickly. It's just so random, right? You must have been like, oh, man, I had such a bad day at work. Anyway, here are really specific details for the thing I signed an NDA about. I mean, that's... Yeah, I don't know, man. And the fact that he leaked it out and there are only, what did he say, three people that heard it, right? So surely the guy who leaked it is going to be like, yo, uh, I saw that you put specific details on MMO Champion. <laughs> you know, caught him, found him. Anyway, there you go. Rise of the Aspects. Rota, is it our new expansion in 2022? Let me know down below, guys. Let me know what you think of Rise of the Aspects. Is this an expansion you sound like the sound of? Is this something that you're going to play? Is this the savior of WoW? Is it true? Is it real? Let me know down below. I'd love to know what you think. Uh, yeah, so before I go, guys, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are incredible, and I can't do these videos without you. Also, if you like this video, guys, please do like it and subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. And of course, I have a partner Discord channel. And as I said, I am now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me stream World of Warcraft, patch 9.2 PTR, any sort of MMO content, Rise of the Aspects, Alpha and Beta. Can't wait. Yeah, twitch.tv slash MrGM. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And with that, I'll see you next time.